I've got to be honest uh, with you guys. I didn't always like Spyderco knives, uh, particularly for their looks. Um, one series that Spyderco has, the Endura and Delica series, I didn't always like them because of the looks, but after seeing them time and time again on YouTube and seeing all the great reviews people post about them, uh, I've considered getting one. And uh, so the look grew on me, and uh, well, here it is. Now I got my own. And I have to say, I was very impressed by this knife. Um, so let's see what's inside. So you got the knife right there. Um, this, uh, in the box, it comes with this uh, education. <laughs> I made that clever. Um, just for the sake of this review, I'm not going to read this, uh, you know, this whole pamphlet thing right here. But if you want to read it, then go to uh, spiderco.com and then just search up the, you know, Endura 4 FFG. And uh, you can, you know, what you'll find on, in the description is pretty much the same like this. So. And the box comes with a nice foam padding, you know, to protect the knife. So enough with that. Let's get to the blade. So I have a couple of talking points here. Oh, and by the way, this is this is going to be a two-parter. So, uh, so yeah, so um, two-part video. Um, so let's start out with the class that I would put it in. I would put it in the class of EDC slash tactical knife. Um, so can't really get that steady right there. So I guess I'm going to have to hold it. Um, so that's the class I'm going to put it in. Uh, I, I wouldn't consider it a hard use knife. And uh, I'll explain that as I go along through the, through the uh, talking points. Uh, so let's get to the uh, next talking point. Um, the blade steel is a VG10, which is, it holds an edge very well, takes an edge very well. And it's, uh, as if you saw it in Nutton Fancy's video on uh, VG10, you'd see that it's uh, pretty rust resistant. So, uh, yeah, I really like the VG10. So that's about that. Okay, uh, so let's get to blade shape. Uh, this is the Spyderco, you know, Spyderco does these uh, these uh, leaf-shaped blades right here. Um, I, I Like I said, I didn't always like the, sh the shape of the blade, you know, on the on some of their knives but I've grew to like it you know it has a nice belly you know it's multifunctional you can you know do EDC tasks with it you know tactical tasks it's uh, it's pointy enough it's full flat ground so you know it slices good you know slash is good and uh, it has this nice thumb hole right here for a good opening uh, it's a uh, 13 millimeters and uh, you can see here it says uh, Seki City, Japan. So that's where it's made. Next talking point, uh, handle material. Um, they use this uh, FRN right here, which is the fiberglo uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon, if you didn't already know that. Uh, well, I, I really have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, it has these uh, bi-directional texturing, which I'll get into m more in depth for ergonomics when we get to that. Um, so yeah, I, I like the handles. It's uh, It has dual liners, and I don't know if you can see this, but they're skeletonized to reduce weight. And uh, and it makes this knife really light, the FRN plus the skeletonized liners. Also adds strength, too. Uh, so let's get to ergonomics. Um, what I've realized about Spyderco knives is that uh, the, their uh, FRN handled knives have really great ergonomics. You know, it says on the ba on the box. Um, let's get this. It says refined ergonomics uh, right here, and they really mean that. Uh, hold on. Uh, end of part one. Gonna g start part two. See ya.